Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So um, I'm in my Tesla Model Y and we're gonna be doing another full self-driving uh, version 13.2.2 demonstration. We are in Golden, Colorado and we're heading up uh, Lookout Mountain right now. We're at a roundabout and I don't know if you can see right here, it's um, getting ready to turn left here. It's not a roundabout, it's just this really strange because there's a bike trail here, there's traffic coming from this way and this way, and it's really hard to see both ways, but this car does an amazing job just doing it on its own. Now it's still supervised full self-driving, which means I have to pay attention, um, which is fine, but these are some pretty crazy turns and stuff going up this mountain. Um, it's really foggy out as well. There's a lot of deer out. I was up here this morning, and uh, yeah, you just gotta be you know, very alert, you gotta pay attention, but this car does an amazing job, and I feel that not enough people understand the technology. So that's kind of why I decided to make this video. Now, um, on my uh, Clutch Guitars channel, I ran a poll. Um, should I do another, te more Tesla videos? About 60% said no, about 20% said yes, and about 20% said, um, what was it, other option, or leave a comment, or I forget what the poll was, but about 60% said no, which is close enough to a yes for me, because I want to do it anyway. But yeah, I feel like not enough people understand the technology enough to even know to want to watch this stuff. So these are speed bumps. It likes to slow down to about between 10 to 13 miles an hour, and then speed up after the speed bumps. I'm not touching the pedals, I'm not touching the, the steering wheel. It's very comfortable in here. Um, I have it set at 67 degrees. You could change, there's another speed bump. Hit that one kind of hard, but it was still fine. Um, yeah, I thought this would be a perfect location to do this full self-driving demonstration. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it's extremely foggy out. And if we're lucky, I came up here this morning, like I said before, it was super foggy this morning. I drove all the way to the top, Heather and I, we got to the top and it was clear and you can see this, the whole, all of Denver and all the way out to Kansas, you can see it was just like one big cloud. And I got some pretty awesome pictures because like the mountain tops were kind of peeking out of the clouds and everything. I've got a pretty, uh, I've got a few, really awesome pictures I posted on my Facebook. That happens maybe a handful of times per year. So maybe we might we might get lucky when we get to the top here and we might see that again. And if we do, I'll make sure I take the camera down and show everybody. But I'm not counting on it, but you never know. These trees look awesome. They're They're all frosted over. So it looks kind of like like a winter wonderland with like white trees. I really like it up here. I, I drive up here all the time. Well, the Tesla now drives up here all the time. That guy has a Christmas tree in the back of his truck, standing up, lit up. All the lights are on and everything. Um, I'm in standard mode. You can change it from standard to chill if you wanted to go slower. Um, I can set it to, you know, stay exactly the speed limit right now the speed limit's 20 i'm going 26 because i have it set to 15 percent over the max speed offset um you know there's all kinds of options in here they're always updated um sometimes i look in here and i see you know some things will say new like just recently i was able to adjust the seats from park um just by the screen here so we're going around a hairpin turn right here. And I do have to keep my eyes open for wildlife, elk, deer, stuff like that. There's a couple hairpin turns up here. Like this one right here. And there's a bike coming down it sees the bike on the screen and it's pretty foggy out. 
there's maybe 50 feet of visibility. Well, maybe 75. There's ice on the road as well. And there is a guy behind us in a Honda and they really like to uh, get right on you for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why with Hondas, but there he is. It's like, dude, I'm going five over. Are you in a big rush to get to the top or what? Looking off to the left, normally you can see like the Coors factory and all of Denver, all of Golden, all the way out to Aurora. But right now it's just gray. It looks like the end of the earth right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just end the trip. I have it set to Lariat Loop. It's a road up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set it to, what's that, to Lookout Mountain. Whoops. See that? I wasn't paying attention. It told me to pay attention. We'll set it to Lookout Mountain Nature Preserve. That'll just get us to the top of the mountain. That's another thing. If you don't pay attention, it will yell at you. It is tracking where my eyes are looking. So it knows whether or not I'm paying attention. Um, so you can't like fall asleep or anything like that. People have hacked these in certain different ways of, you know, tricking it into thinking there's a hand on the wheel or, you know, just deceiving the, the software, which is, you know, absolutely not safe. Like I said, this is still supervised beta. So you have to pay attention. Um, in the future, there will be unsupervised with the cyber cabs. They're coming out you know, who knows when Elon likes to say one year, but when Elon says one year, that means about three years. And so far, everything that he's promised has come true. So uh, we are about to get to some hairpin turns right here. And these are, you know, this is the main reason I wanted to come up here. It is extremely foggy. It's probably less than 50 feet visibility right now. We're at Windy Saddle Park and I didn't even realize it because we came up on the parking lot. I couldn't even see it, but the Tesla knows uh, where we're at. I hope there's a bike up here in this thick fog that it, here's a car coming and there it just noticed it now. I have my fog lights on, right? Yeah. Front fog lights. There's the park rangers. All right. This is an icy turn right here. It's a hairpin turn that goes up to the right. No problem there. This is a 15 mile per hour turn. It's taking it at about 13 miles an hour. Here's another hairpin turn. Saw some nice deer here this morning. There was no bucks, it was uh, just a few doe. But the other day I saw a a bunch of bucks together, mule deer bucks. They're all just hanging out together. Usually it's a bunch of doe. Now there's a guy straight ahead in a vehicle stopped right there. You can see the person on screen. It saw the vehicles. And this is the last hairpin turn of the drive. There's a vehicle doing something over here. You can tell. All right, we're at the top pretty much and it hasn't cleared up. I still see some fog kind of lingering around. Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna see that awesome view that I was talking about, but we're almost at the top. Both my cameras are still running, so that's good. This is the first time I'm doing this with the GoPro set up over here and behind me. Hopefully, this GoPro in the back is good enough to see the information down here. I've only driven this thing 1,336 miles so far. I'm at 72% um, battery. And um, on the way down, it has regenerative braking. So as we coast down the hill, that'll actually go up from 72. I'm gonna intervene here. We're gonna go into the uh, Buffalo Bills grave area. The gift shop just closed down. We were, we were in there on the last day on uh, December 31st, 2024, the gift shop closed down because of, for whatever reason, they lost funding from the government. So 
Uh, the gift shop is now closed. I used to go in there and get fudge all the time. It was great. Stop up here and get a soda or a water or whatever. All right, we're in a parking lot now, and you can see there's people. It sees the people on camera. It can tell where everybody is all at once. And right here, can't see anything. Normally you can see an awesome mountain view here and Denver and everything, but it's just gray. This morning it was awesome. I'll put some pictures of what it looked like this morning on camera here. So anyway, um, what are we at here? 18 minutes, I think that's long enough for a video. Well, you know what, let's go down the hill too, why not? It's not gonna hurt anything. We'll put it in full self-driving. Um, I'll navigate to the bottom of the hill and we'll just let the car do the work. All right, there's a car coming. It can see the car. One thing I noticed is um, I, I drove this through, through Denver the other day and there was, it was rush hour. There was slow traffic, stop, go, stop, go on the interstate and stuff and just all that headache. Um, and this thing, I put it in full self-driving and it just did everything perfectly. It did it better than I can do. I've got my eyes on the road like I am driving just in case anything jumps out in front of me or who knows sinkhole opens and you, ne you never know what's going to happen. I think we'll be at like 73 or 74 percent by the time we get to the bottom. If anybody's interested in buying a Tesla, I do have a referral code. I'm not sponsored. Everybody that owns a Tesla gets a referral code. But if you want to buy one and you want to save, you know, up to $2,000 on your next tes Tesla purchase, look how it took that hairpin turn with people. Flawless. Better than I can do. It stays right between the lines. Um, I will have my referral code in the description. You have to use the link to purchase the car. And by the way, buying a Tesla through the, I bought mine through the app because I rent Teslas when I travel. And so I said, I had the app on my phone. I just bought the Tesla using my phone app. Um, you can do the same thing. I think if you click on the link with your phone, anyway, we're getting closer to the bottom of the hill. It's going really slow. I can set the max speed by scrolling this up. I have it set to 42 max. I'll set it to 41, 40 max. It's just going real slow because of the fog. It's just being extra careful, I guess. The only reason I'm concerned about it is because we do have somebody behind us. I'm going to pull in here and let this guy pass. So I'm just going to intervene by pressing the button put my turn signal on and turn in here to Windy Saddle Park we'll just do a U-turn here or a, not a U-turn but kind of a, a Louie and we're back let the car do the rest of the work so yeah Anyway, I think that's about it. Yeah, he's slowing down too. Um, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about this car, or if you'd like to see more videos like this, I think I'm gonna make more anyway, just because it is really interesting. And um, I think people need to know about this technology. So in my opinion, I think that Tesla is onto something that is going to be the future of automobile transportation especially with the cyber cabs. There's not even a steering wheel in those things. They just automatically drive you to wherever you want to go. All you do, you put your information in, you navigate to where you want to go, and it takes you there. Who knows, in the future there might be something better, and if there is, I will certainly be more interested in that. But uh, I believe that Tesla is the reason that this competition would exist in the first place, because right now there is no competition um, hopefully there is. Hopefully other businesses at least catch up to Tesla, but they're so far behind. I don't see it happening anytime in the future. 
Um, but hopefully they do because this technology is the future and uh, other car companies, I don't think they see it yet, or if they do, they're just trying really hard to catch up, but they're not doing a very good job. Um, if you know of any other vehicles that can do this kind of stuff, let me know. We're almost here at the end of our route. We'll go around these hairpin turns and then, uh, and then we'll end the video. We're at 20 something minutes here, 25 minutes. Can't read it, 24. There's a bike and a car with the car trying to pass the bike and the Tesla just slightly moved over to the right a little bit. Going around these corners, I would never reach for my drink, but here we are. All right, guys, the battery is about to die on my GoPro, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If um, you would like to see more Tesla full self-driving videos, just let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I don't know that much about Tesla. I just got this car. I mean, I have been invested in the companies for since 2017, um, and I have been following a lot about the company, but as far as the car goes, I don't know everything yet there's i'm still learning there's so much stuff here to, to understand all i know is i get automatic software updates or recalls and it just changes stuff it adds new features um all while i sleep it's awesome and that's pretty much all i got for today i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching